This is Anthony with Tabletop Misfits. We're here with another unboxing video showcasing Dune. Da, 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 da. The worm is the spice and all that. Looks really, really cool. I was actually really excited to get my hands on this game. This is, well, anything Dune really I'm excited to get my hands on. Um, but this is a new game from Legendary and um, actually Dire Wolf, which I actually am not terribly familiar with a lot of their games. So I'm actually kind of curious to see what's inside this. Did they knock it out of the park? Is it going to be amazing? Uh, or is Duncan gonna die again horribly? I don't know. Ooh, that's a spoiler. Sorry guys, go watch Dune, it's really good. Now, this is a really strategic game from what I understand. It's got a lot of hype. Uh, it has a card building game and a worker placement game kind of together. Um, we'll find out when we play it this weekend, of course, exactly how much that encompasses. Box looks really nice, of course. We got Arrakis and a couple planets around its moons. Uh, Hand of God, I think was one of them. And Dune Imperium is the title, of course. Looks looks pretty solid. I mean, decent game box. But we're not here for the box. We're here for the contents. So, instruction booklet looks well written. Of course, I won't know until I read it. Because no matter how pretty instruction booklet looks, unless if it doesn't read well, it's not well. It's not good. So, uh, let's get that out of the way. Let's see. They have solo and two-player games. So, good news for you solo people. Got solo options here. And then we have a guide to the stuff on the board. Always love guides. I've said that in a prior video. Anything with guides, any quick sheets, I'm all for, believe me, especially if they could put it on a board, like a GM board. Super awesome. Uh, looks like we got Jessica of Arrakis. Must be a promo card in there, perhaps. And uh, we have tokens, tokens, tokens. Oh, what the real, what the real money from the movie is made. So we got tokens here of uh, Baron Harkonnen. I don't know why we have a big token of Baron Harkonnen, but Cool, it actually looks kind of like the actors. So I've noticed that the art even on the back looks kind of like the actors. A um, Couple other tokens on there. Gonna unbox this now. Take a look at this board. Do, 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 do. Yeah, okay, nothing on one side. On the other side, however, got where, uh, where our tactics and everything else lie. So I have no idea how this game plays right now, but we're gonna figure it out on the weekend. But obviously it has a quick round option at the bottom, a score chart. Mm, it just looks kind of pretty though. They did a good job with the art. We'll lay that on out. Nice and pretty. Let's see what else is underneath here. So we have a divider. Nothing crazy about that. And components. All right. So we have cards. Looks like these are the different house leaders. We have uh, Duke Leader Atreides, Atreides, Paul Atreides, Baron Vladimir Harkonnen, Glosso the Beast Raban. Earl Memnon Thorvald from House Thorvald. Interesting. They weren't even in the movie, actually. Countess Ariana Thorvald. At least not the new movie. Which is very good, by the way. See it. Count Ilban Rashis. And Helena Rashis. So different houses are involved here. So that's pretty cool. Um, looks like you obviously pick one of these main houses. I like the art. It is actually pretty good looking. And obviously they either got a likeness or allowance for likeness on here because they look like the actors. That looks like a mean... Drax, I mean Dave Batista right there. And yeah, Paul Atreides looks like the actor. And we got Poe Dameron, I mean, <laughs> Duke Atreides right here. Looks very, very good. Now, something I noticed actually holding up the cards, it actually has a round breakdown on the back. I love, love quick cards, like I said. They have a full round breakdown. This should be common practice for most games, and I see it all in most games lately. So you got a round breakdown, draw, reveal a conflict, draw a hand of five cards, take an agent turn, or reveal, take a reveal turn, whatever that means. Combat makers and recall. So it looks like uh, looks like you have your worker placement section of the game and your cleanup and everything else. Looks pretty cool. I like it so far. This is pretty nice. Put that over here. Let's take a look at our combat cards. These are obviously you know when you have a combat between the different houses. This is obviously going to be what you use to fight. Looks like I got some numbers and some symbols on the bottom. No clue what they mean yet, but we're going to find out this weekend. It's going to be a lot of fun, I think. Allied Armada, if you have a faction alliance. Here, let me open these up, take a look at some of these cards. Let's see what we got. So, we've got cards, Allied Armada, Refocus, Ambush. The cards go on and on here. They have different colors, obviously for different purposes. They look very pretty. And then you have some of their skirmish cards. Looks like goals, more than likely goal cards. They look really good. 
For next on our list, we have a whole other thing of cards here. I'm gonna get this on open, take a look at these as well. Our Keen, a reshuffle card. Very, very important part in the Dune movie, reshuffle. Assassination Mission. Ah, that was a good part in the movie. Scout, The Voice. So it looks like there's some of them are very specific to the house. The Bene Gesserit, The Emperor, Spacing Guild. Well, there's no Spacing Guild in the game, so I wonder, hmm. And then Arrakis Recruiter, Chris Knife, a whole bunch of stuff. Obviously this is what you use either to, to buy with workers or resources. We have some Fremen, that looks cool. Spice must flow, the spice must flow. Da, 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 da. <laughs> see what else we got. We got teardrops. Oh my God, you're gonna cry in this game. You're totally gonna cry in this game. No, actually this is water, I'm sure. These delicious tears of Paul Atreides. Got cubes, lots of cubes, and you know, delicious silica packets. Cubes, woo! All kinds of colors, we got more cubes. Keep it coming with the cubes, look at that, woo! and more silica packets. So delicious. I do not condone ingesting those, by the way. <laughs> uh, we got some circles, lots of circles, more packets. Let's see what we got here. More tokens, more tokens. More meeply tokens. All made from uh, usual wood. Nothing too crazy there. They're not like plastic or any ornate designs. And last but not least, these are probably board markers. Board markers, there we go. And that's it, actually. Let's see what else we got. We got a baggie for holding more. And that's about it. Woo! So, let's see. I love the art in the game, actually. I'm glad that they took kind of a very... Art... I'm just glad with the artistic choices. They got the likeness for the actors. Looks very, very good. Very thematic looking. Very pretty. As far as minis go, uh, there really aren't minis per se, of course. They're just little, you know, meeples and things like that. Um, they're not bad looking, you know, standard paint jobs, nothing crazy. I mean, uh, I, it's not blowing me out of the water, but it's not bad either. And the board design is pretty decent. So I'm excited to play it. And I'm hoping it kind of, you know, gives me that evocative feel that I'm playing with Dune. Um, not bad, not bad at all. But we'll put a link, obviously, where to purchase it. And we'll do a walkthrough this weekend, play a couple of games of this. I, like I said, it's gotten a lot of buzz lately. It's, it's actually supposed to be pretty good. So I'm kind of excited to see how it plays out. Um, but it looks, looks pretty nice. I'm pretty excited. You excited, buddy? Oh, I'm excited. I've yeah. been looking forward to this game. All right, man. I have high hopes for this game. And I hope you do too. Um, we'll let you know how it goes. And of course, you know, the spice must flow. And don't trust any Harkonnens. Just never do it. It's just not go well. Even if they have your wife, whatever, it doesn't matter. Just don't trust them. Um, also, great movie, Dune. Check it out. So this is Anthony with Tabletop Misfits with another unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, check out some of our other videos and keep gaming.